Folks, welcome to AccuQuilt Live. I'm Pam Heller, AccuQuilt's joint, uh, cutting expert. Thanks for joining us today, getting all the words in first thing this morning. Emily's in the house. How are you, my friend? I sure am. I'm great. I got some fabric this weekend. Yes, because you're going to sew with Reba. Yes, I'm so excited. And I actually brought some little um, stitches to show the camera. So oh, to look. see all of the different things that Reba can do. Reba was the best $12 investment you she ever bought. She was the best $12 I've ever spent. And you can see like it does a straight stitch. You've got those zigzags. So I've decided on my baby quilt that I'm making for my good friend, I'm going to use the zigzag stitch to do the actual like quilting along the edges. Oh, that's a cute idea. Sure. And add it, add some more dimension to it. So I thought that'd Wonderful. be really fun and to And everyone show. will comment on how beautiful Emily's nails are. Exactly. Oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Where is everyone watching from today? Um, we have Barbara from Stark City, Missouri watching. And Rhonda from Georgia and Cindy, hello. We're glad that you're all here today. It is a super windy day. So many of you are writing how it is windy. Um, it is super windy here in Omaha, Nebraska today. Mm -hmm. All right, let's take a look at our newest projects from our countdown video. First off, we have a quilt by Alice, or it's not a quilt, by Allison J. And isn't this cute? It's a little <gasps> cover for your teapot. Oh, how sweet. Look at how cute that is. It just matches so well. Yes, and the birds and the leaves and the stems, it's darling. So pretty. And is that the Mad Hatter on the teapot? I, I think that, that is the Mad oh, Hatter. Oh, I do love Alice in Wonderland. My goodness, same here. All right, next we have Jess M. And look at this beautiful <gasps> stars and samplers that she did. Oh man, I love all the colors. Mm -hmm. Totally stri stripy um, border. So I would count that in my 2022 because um, I'm only binding in stripy fabric, but this one is the whole border stripy, so I love it. And totally scrappy. I mean, a great way to bust up your scraps. Good job, Jess. And last but not least, Jo Ann S with her North Dakota State Bison Quilt. Go oh, bison. Cute. Look at how fun that is. <laughs> All right, Tumblr, one of our best dyes ever. Yep, that was right. That's one. how you start. All right, today's show is all about the new Go Bird and Birdhouse die. I'm going to show you how to make a really quick and easy table topper. Here it is. You ready? Ta da ta da. And be sure and download the free pattern. It's called Chirp Corners, and it's a free pattern at AccuQuilt.com. And this is the version I made. We'll talk about the other version. All right, here is my photo of the day. Okay, Emily, you weren't here when we were talking about this, but this was actually taken at AccuQuilt oh a couple gosh. of years ago behind our warehouse. This was, it was on the back steps and there was this beautiful robin um, nest. Oh, so it was really fun. Pretty. Yeah, it's beautiful. So the question of the day, since we're talking about bird and bird houses, mm -hmm. what is your favorite bird? Emily, what did you decide? I love chickadees. I do love chickadees. My, so my dad has a bird feeder and they just flit all around and they just, they're, yes. they're kind of spunky. They just go all over the place. They're so much fun. We have a bird feeder as well. We got lots of blue jays and cardinals and yes. really pretty finches. I do like that. The guys like hawks and owls here in the studio. So in the comments section, let us know what is your favorite bird. All right, quilters, we have extended all three bundles from yesterday's launch of the Go Bird and Birdhouse die. The first bundle we have is the Go Bird and Birdhouse die, and it comes with two six by 12 cutting mats. This bundle is valued at $100, but you can get it today for just $69.99, saving you over $29. Up next is our Go Bird Crazy bundle. You receive the Go Bird and Birdhouse die, the Go Birds die, the eight and a half inch square, which finishes to eight inches, the two Go Cutting Mats, um, they're six by 12, the Go Birds embroidered design by our good friend Marjorie Busby. This bundle is valued at $231. You can add it to your collection today for $144.99, saving you over $85. And last but not least, we have the Go Bird and Bird House uh, cutter bundle, which includes the Go Bird and Bird House die and our Go Fabric Cutter Starter Set, which is a great value. This bundle is valued at $420. You can get it today for $349.99, saving you over $69. Now, are you looking for something else? You can use the code MY40OFF 
to get 40% off go dies, cubes, and bundles. Plus, if you spend more than $100, you will get free shipping, no extra code required. Now, don't forget the birdhouse bundles that we showed you. Those are already discounted up to 37%. So if you're looking for some extra dyes, like bob dyes, um, strip dyes, cubes, we'll talk about it today. Exactly. Uh, use that code MY40OFF. Today, I'm going to give away one of our Go Bird and Birdhouse dyes. Be sure to register for future events on the AccuQuilt event page for your chance to win. By registering, you will receive event emails. That way, you're never going to miss an exciting tutorial. Emily announce, will announce the winner of our registered viewer at the end of the show. I'm really excited about it. All right, so let's talk about this new die. This is our Go Bird and Birdhouse die. It is an applique die, and it has all the shapes to create whimsical birds and all the pieces to build a fun birdhouse. All right, so here's the birdhouse base. Look, there's my fabric and the little perch and the bottom of the birdhouse and the roof. Here is the birds, which is super fun. It's on a six by 12 die board, so it'll fit through all of our cut, cut, Go cutters, including the Go Me and the studio cutter with the appropriate size adapter. Make sure you have a six by 12 cutting mat if you wanna cut all of the shapes, but you could also use a six by six mat to cut individual shapes like the birds, okay? Now, really important quilters, the birds on this die are directional. In the pattern, they all go the same direction, so you wanna stack your fabric all facing up. If you want your birds to go in opposite directions, like in the um, project behind Emily, you can just fan fold your fabric, which is great. All right, now quilters, this is a great beginner sewing project because the only sewing involved is this outer border, which are just rectangles right here. Oh, wow. Look at that, isn't that great? So the inner section of this um, table topper is just a square. Okay, oh. just an 18 and a half inch square. You're just gonna cut it, it's just background fabric. Okay, now we are going to um, cut and fuse some pieces onto our project here. But we get this question a lot, don't we, Emily, of how do we put fusible on fabric? Absolutely. All right, so we are gonna talk about that. I have a bunch of pre-fused fabric that we're gonna use. Um, and we're gonna show you how to do that right now. On our website, we have several different kinds of fusible. We have, um, that comes in big rolls. The kind I'm using today is called soft fuse, and it comes in these great little sheets like this. Now, you'll need a total of 12 birds and four bird houses, so you wanna pre-fuse your fabric. So what I'm gonna do is, I have some little fabric scraps right here, okay? that I'm gonna show you how to use. And let's just pre-fuse this, this orange right here because I think it will fit. Yeah, it'll fit right here over our birds, all right? So what you wanna do is, when I did the birdhouse, I measured it. So I made sure that my fabric was big enough, right, to go over it. And then I added fusible that was pretty much the same size that came in a little bit um, so that it didn't extend over the edges. All right, so with our orange piece right here, ooh, I gotta put these pieces back, I'll never remember where they go. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay this down right here, and I'm just gonna take some scissors, and I'm just gonna cut this fusible. If I was doing big sections like strips, um, I would just use my rotary cutter. And it doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be pretty close to the size of the shape, okay? There we go. Pam, can you cut with Wonder under the fabric? Wonder under is fusible, yes. Okay. Yes. I was like, Think I about that brand sure for a second. <laughs> okay, this side is paper and it's slick. This side is sticky. This is the part where the fusible is. You wanna take your fabric and to the back of the fabric, you wanna lay the sticky side down. Boy, I double check every single time. Because Emily, what happens if you try to put your iron on that sticky side? Ooh, I bet that's not gonna go well it's for you. It's gonna stick to your iron and then you have to go buy magic erasers, okay? 
that. So I'm double checking, here's the paper, all right? And I wanna make sure that my fusible doesn't extend over my fabric because then that fusible is gonna get on my good wool mat, which I also don't want, right. okay? So just take your time, okay? It'll be great. And follow the instructions. This one, just give it a good press. You have to count for four seconds. Okay. All right. And we did have a question with the bird, ha bird and birdhouse embroidery. Um, th that's actually going to fit on a 7 by 12 embroidery hoop for that question. Thank you. So we and we also have on our website now the stabilizer. If you're going to use those embroidery files, you can buy stabilizer and fusible on our website. Look at that. We're in all all one place shopping one experience. One shop. All right. <laughs> so then, um, okay, so let's cut some birds and birdhouses now that I've shown you how to use that fusible. All right. And I'm going to lay my little block out here. All right. I'm going to move my hot, hot iron. All right. So the thing I want to keep in mind is I want my birdhouses show you real quick. My birdhouses, the opposite ones were the same. Sure. And then the little trim was different fabric. You could, you could mix and match it however you wanted to make it. Um, this is just such a great scrap buster, mm -hmm. all right? So I totally use scraps from my stash to get that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay my fabric facing up and I'm just gonna lay it over my birdhouse shape. And I know that I can cut all the pieces at once, but I wanna cut these separately so I can show you how to do this, sure. all right? So I'm gonna use my cutting mat, because Emily, what happens if you try to cut fabric without a mat? Not a darn thing. Not a darn thing. <laughs> all right, well, now, this will fit through any of our cutters, but I'm gonna use our Go Big. But Emily, is our Ready, Set, Go on sale today? We actually have a promotion today with the code CUT150. Okay. You're gonna get $150 off that Go or the Ready, Set, Go today. Excellent. So if you're just new to AccuQuilt, if you're just new to quilting, that's what you wanna get. All right, so I'm going to slide my mat, don't lift, and now I have birdhouse shapes. And I keep these little pieces of pre-fused because sometimes I'm making projects and I need a little piece of something that's already pre-fused, sure. okay? All right, so I cut my two um, main parts of our birdhouse, okay, hold on here. And it's going to get, here, I'm going to move this because that will help. It's going to get a little... Um, busy here in a second. All right, so now here's my two fabrics that I'm gonna use for my roof and my edge and my perch. Now, usually we talk about lengthwise grain, right? Label it belly, lengthwise grain. But once you pre-fuse fabric, you don't have to worry about lengthwise grain anymore. Ooh. Anymore, which is great. And you can always cut up to four layers of pre-fused fabric. So I'm gonna just lay my shape over here and I'm gonna show you how we can just use a smaller mat. Look at that, okay. All right, Emily, while I'm cutting these, tell us what are people's favorite birds? I'm excited to hear this. I know, me too. And we had a quick question. What, did you use steam at all when you were uh, pressing? I did not use steam. My fusible tells us not to use steam. Awesome. So Crystal says cardinals are her favorite bird. Cardinals are so pretty. Beautiful, as does Penny, Dawn. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of folks are saying cardinals. A lot of cardinals. Ooh, Anne likes peacocks. Oh, peacocks are beautiful. They are gorgeous. Oh, I've forgotten Maureen hummingbirds. Oh, hummingbirds are beautiful. Those are some cool birds. Okay. Now look, I have all this extra fabric, right? Mm -hmm. Because I was wise in how I cut my pieces. So now I'm going to just take my same two pieces here. I'm just going to barely cover that shape and then I'll have enough to do the last of my roofs. It's kind of cool. I like the fact that with applique shapes, you don't have to worry about that lengthwise screen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that is really nice. All right, here we go. And <laughs> when I was testing this die and making my project, often I lost these little perches. 
Oh. So you want to make sure you keep track of your purse. Just a little bitty guys. Keep track of your purse. <laughs> I feel like that's a good life lesson. Okay, this is the circle that is the hole for the birdhouse. And I have this super cool fabric here. And I am just going to, because I have everything different, I just am taking my time cutting the pieces. And we can always use four layers, right? So I'm going to take my two pieces and fold them in half. All right, Emily, do we have more questions? Yes, we do. Okay. Um, let's see here. We've got, uh, oh, um, Danette's wondering if AccuQuilt has a sticks and bricks in Nebraska. I don't know what that is. I believe that's like a brick and mortar, right? At least that's what it makes me think of. I don't know. I don't know, but we, we actually, all of our products can be ordered on AccuQuilt.com. Yes, um, which and, is where you want to order them. Which is exactly, because that's where we all have, our, have all our great deals. Right. Um, Phyllis is wondering, can you starch the fabric with best press and then cut the birds? Okay, so the answer to that is no, if you want to use them as applique. Mm. You want to pre-fuse your fabric before you cut your shape. Because if I cut my bird shape, then I have to cut my fusible and then I have to figure out how to put it all on together. Sure. So this is brilliant because I'm gonna cut the fabric and the fusible all in one pass. The next question you're gonna ask is, will that not dull the blades to cut paper? Emily, can we cut paper with our dice? You sure can. Every day, every day. These are not like scissors where blades are going next to each other. This is a die cutting die. It's a die. There's still blades in there with the mat and so it's not like scissors. Exactly. Thousands of cuts out of your dies. Yep. Okay. The only thing that's running out is your cutting mat. Yep. <laughs> okay so he, now I'm gonna cut some birds because we can. So I'm gonna lay my little fabrics down and these were just total scraps that I used and we can always cut four layers of prefuse. One, two, three, four. There we go. Mm -hmm. Okay. And again, I'm gonna use just my little cutting mat because I can, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right? And this die actually has a little eye for the bird, um, but we could do some other things. We'll talk about it in a second. Sure. Well, and I loved this idea. So in the comments yesterday, when you and Erica were talking about the birds and how to yes. lay them out, okay, Donette had the cutest idea to put a little bird's like to trim just like the neck up from the bird and put him hanging out of the hole in the bird's nest. Oh, that's a cute idea. House. Wouldn't that be so cute? That's a cute idea. So what I would do there is I would take my bird I would cut my bird first, right? And then I would iron him to my, this is the hole for my, the opening for my birdhouse. Oh, perfect. And then put it on the die. Should we do one? That's a pro Let's tip. Let's do. You know, might as well, no, why not? Why we're here and we have a die and we I can do all of that. be so okay. cute. Here's the thing, keep track of the wings. Gosh, I kept losing wings yes. when I was testing the die. Okay, hold on here. Because what I did was I made all the birds had different wings than the bodies. Life's too short to oh, have the same so wings. Cute. Exactly. Right? Especially when you've got all those fun patterns. Oh, yeah. Here's a Color. Okay. While I'm pulling these apart, Emily, tell us what people are loving. Yes. Okay. I've never heard the, heard of this one. An indigo blue bunting. No, is, but that sounds very Cindy's fun. Favorite. Sounds beautiful. I mean, indigo and blue are just beautiful colors. So okay. It might be my, we might have to go look it up when we're done. Indigo blue bunting. I know, right? Um, Carol says Roadrunner. Oh, okay. I was thinking of Roadrunners and Coyotes together. I know. I, I was am of that age. I know. It's like, do you, did okay. you watch the Acme? <laughs> yes. Acme. Good old Acme. All right. So here, I'm going to move this. Oh, man. Here we go. Okay. So let's do that trick. Yeah. Let's right? See it. So she thought it would be fun to just have the little bird's head yeah. sticking out, right? So I'm going to take my paper off the back. Okay, it's so gonna this just is peel gonna, right away. That's gonna give you the sticky side, right? Yes. Now this is sticky, super sticky. Always put the sticky side on the back. Okay. Okay, and then I'm just gonna iron him down. I brought my big iron from home. I love to use a <laughs> shovel iron. This is my big iron from home. 
I've decided I need to invest in, in the smaller iron. Oh, they're on our website. You should sure totally are. get to one along with a cutting mat or a wool mat. I know, they're so popular and I, I need to invest in one. <laughs> okay, so now let's see how this is gonna work. Cause I gotta kind of move him over quite a bit. Yeah. So that he's showing through and I wanna make sure I get his beak. Yes. Okay, we'll try this. We'll put it on one of our houses. Oh, this is gonna be so fun. I know. I love this. Oh, and we've got some more favorite birds. We've got Linda says the eagle is her favorite. Oh, eagles are great. The majestic eagle. Oh, so look. Oh, there he look is. at it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, that's a super cute trick. That's adorable. Okay, whoever came up with that idea, kudos to yeah, you. Danette. Good thank job, you for Danette. That one. Well done. <laughs> Good job. We love it. Okay. All right. Now let's look. Okay, so I've cut some birdhouses and I've cut some birds. Let's look at the project behind Emily. Yeah. Um, Emily, um, this is a project that Marjorie Busby created. She is, okay, she's an amazing quilter and she's one of our go getters. It's called uh, All Seasons Project. Is this the one or is this a different one? Oh. This is a different one. Okay, so I'm sorry, we won't, but the, look at the one behind Emily. <laughs> um, Marianne Fontana created that one, right? Am I correct now, guys? Yeah, and she used our eight inch square and the bird and the birdhouses and the two and a half inch strip to create the borders and the cornerstones. And then the eight inch cube are the corners and then right there are half square triangles from the eight inch cube. So today, use that code CUT, what is it, my 150 off? CUT 150. CUT 150, you get the ready, set, go. It will come with our go uh, manual machine, the eight inch cube and the two and a half inch strip bag. And this pattern is called the Go Birdhouse Nine Patch Party Throw Quilt Pattern. Say that five times fast. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now let's talk about Marjorie. <laughs> yesterday, it's all coming back to me. Yesterday, Marjorie created a super fun all seasons project using this die and the eight and a half inch square, which is part of one of our bundles, finishes to eight inches, and it includes the embroidery file. There's a link for the pattern and the embroidery files bundle on our website, and you'll need to get that eight inch finished square to complete the project. So how much is that eight inch square today, Emily? That eight inch square is only gonna be $29.99. Oh, see, that's great. Yeah, absolutely. That's great, okay? And quilters, you could also make pillows with just one birdhouse and a border using our Go Big 9 or 10 inch finished squares. So if you own the Go Big and you're looking to make bigger projects with it, you could add more birds to it. Yes. Um, you could add flowers, you could add some of our bird dyes to yeah. it, right? Yep. Just in addition to that one. Um, you'll need the go big. Yep, we have the dove, we have the cardinal, the bird, the birds. There's just a whole lot of and options. Most, and all of those are part of the Save My 40, right? Yeah, the bird, the dove, and the cardinal are all gonna be $23.99. Oh, that's a great deal. With those, yeah, that's, that's a, a great, great deal. deal. <laughs> so if you're looking to get the birdhouse die today, think about adding some extra birds into that bundle. $100 oh, yeah. or more, it'll ship to you free. Absolutely. All right. Join Erica and me on Tuesday, April 12th at 12 noon central time as we relaunch one of our most popular die to tries. It's now part of our permanent collection. Make sure you uh, register for the event for the chance to win prizes. Now, like all of our applique shapes, I'm gonna grab them here. We'll talk about this before we move on to building birdhouses, okay? Um, all of our applique shapes, this die has a free embroidery file from AccuQuilt.com. And the nice thing about the embroidery files are the bird houses are one file and the birds are another. So they don't always have to live together. They can be different places and, yeah. and on, your, on your block. Oh, so awesome. it comes with three stitches. Here is the blanket stitch, the motif stitch, and the satin stitch. Typically when I'm doing um, table runners or placemats that are, you know, that are not gonna, or not placemats, but wall hangings, sure. if they're not gonna get washed very often, I love the blanket stitch or the motif stitch. Yeah. But if it's something that is gonna be a gift or you're gonna get washed a lot, I love the satin stitch, okay? And we also have some for purchase files from our good friends. Marjorie Busby has a whole bunch 
Um, this one is, these are from our good friends at V-Stitch. All right, so look at how cute this is. So here's the birds, and this is great. I love this stitch. I'm not sure what it is, but it's, it looks like railroad tracks. Really I just cool. think it's so pretty. <laughs> and this one is really cute, okay? And then we have one more. Oh, see, this is how I lose pieces. Don't lose your birdhouse pieces. This one's so cute. I like this one a lot because it looks like this decorative stitch around the opening is really cute. Yeah. Oh, this is my all-time favorite one. <gasps> I know, isn't oh this gosh. so cute? So it has the little weather vane on top and it has a little decorative stitch. And Emily, do you know what the little birds are made of? I, they're so cute. It, it looks like, I can't even tell. It's the wings. Oh my goodness. So you cut extra wings and then you have little chickadees. That is so clever. I know. The people at V-Stitch, super clever. So these are for purchase, okay? Now for this project, I am gonna do all of our quilting. Um, for the one that I made, I just did straight line quilting um, on my domestic machine. So I'm not gonna use any embroidery files, but if you were, then um, once you build your birdhouses, then you'll want to do, as you build it, you'll want to do those embroidery files, sure. okay? So the question people ask is, how will AccuQuilt help me bust up my stash? Okay, this project is perfect for stash busting and using up all those tiny little pieces of scraps. Think about different colors of houses, different colors of birds. Um, think about adding other birds from our bird collection. Again, just a really great way to use up your scraps. Don't forget we have bird and birdhouse uh, launch bundles are still available. Those are already discounted up to 37% off. And we have that special code, MY40OFF. 40% 40 off dies, cubes, and bundles. Plus, if you spend more than $100, we'll give you free shipping if you live in the contiguous U.S. Mm -hmm. All right, so Emily, give us some ideas of, of dies they would order with that MY40OFF. Absolutely. Well, the cubes are really great today with that 40 percent um if you were just for example if you were looking at like the six inch cube right um that Which would we're going to use in a little bit and you would save a hundred dollars on that cube oh, see and it would ship to you free and it sure would yeah it'd be 149 with free shipping it'd be Perfect. real real nice um, or you can get the companion set right. it's, it's it's a pretty exciting time to buy and it's a great day to do that because then you save on that shipping and give you a little extra boost there exactly exactly okay. Today I'm gonna to give away one of our Go Bird and Bird House dies. Be sure to register for future events on the AccuQuilt event page for your chance to win. All right, so once your pieces are cut, you wanna build your bird houses before you iron them onto the background, at least a part of it, okay? That way, if you make a mistake, you haven't ruined your entire project because <laughs> you've ironed it wrong, okay? And the guys were here and Emily was here earlier when I thought, oh my goodness, maybe I've done this wrong, but actually I added my little birdhouses, okay? So the first thing I wanna do is, um, I'm gonna start with my birds and then I'm gonna show you this trick on how to build the birdhouses, all right? So I am, I am a big fan of not having the same things. So I'm gonna put my little Oh yeah, who needs matchy-matchy, you know? You do not need matchy-matchy, <laughs> okay? So here's my little wings. So again, I'm gonna take that little fusible off, okay? And the little papers are everywhere. Uh, Ray came home the other day and there were little fusible papers all over the floor in the sewing room. He said, oh, you must be doing applique. <laughs> I said, oh <laughs> yes, I am, okay? Oh, I love that. There you go. All right, while well, I'm putting the little wings on, Emily, tell us what are yeah. people's favorite birds? Yes. Um, okay, so let's see. Oh, Dale loves, hum calls them hummers, little hummingbirds. Oh, yes. Um, Kathy says cardinals, their red color always cheers me up. Love that. I love that too. Karen, she says she likes chicken fried. Karen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm kind of with Karen. Good job, Karen. Oh, listen, so we, uh, it's been nice here, even though today it is so windy, we're probably all gonna end up in Kansas. Um, but I've had the back door open and the screen door, you know, close. Oh, sure. And I can hear chicken brains, chickens. 
they are so loud right oh now. My oh my goodness. They are so loud, chicken brains, chickens. So wow. I could think of fried chicken, that'd be great. Okay, <laughs> all right, so my little birds are done. Now you could use small buttons for the eyes, you could use a French knot. Guess what, on my project, I didn't even give them eyes, okay? All right, now here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you this super cool trick. This square is an 18 and a half inch square, and so what I did was to know where to lay my pieces. Boy, I gotta run a little sticky thing over the top of that lint roller. I just folded it in half mm -hmm. like this. Watch this. And then I just gave it a press. Oh, look at you. Sometimes I know things, Emily. Not very often, but sometimes. Mind blown, Pam. Right? Okay. <laughs> And then that way, I, I know that my houses are going to line up, right? Look at that, yeah. Okay. So here's the fold. Ooh, make sure I get the right one here, okay? And now I know that I can have the little point come right here in the middle. If it's not perfect, it's okay. There's no dye police, okay? So the guys have told me. Now, on the project, a little bird is going to sit down here, okay? Aww. Look at this. He's going to sit down here. So what you don't want to do is put your birdhouse way down here, sure. okay? So what I have found is, in my little quilting experience here, I have found that three and a half inches. So I just take my little AccuQuilt ruler, mm -hmm. and it's great because I can just come here on a line and I can do three and a half, three and a quarter inches. It's pretty good, okay? okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my paper off. Look how cool this is. This is so This is such a great project. You could totally, um, if, I, when I, if I hadn't been making one <laughs> for the show, I would have had Oakley help me make it because how she's gonna put together birdhouses and birds is gonna be a way different thing than the pattern. Yeah. But I just think this would be a great project for kids because you could, you know, you could prefuse the fabric for them, have them um, cut out the shapes, and then you could just iron them on wherever they want to build yeah. birdhouses. I like a project where you get to do multiple kinds of, yes. you know, not just sewing, but you know, piecing. And, yes. Yeah, so cool. Okay, so this is good. So now I'm going to just take my hot iron. And actually, we have a question. So with um, with you know the the houses. So how would you embroider before you applique on the big piece or um, after? And how did would you get it in the right place? Oh, okay. So if I'm going to embroider, I'm going to take a. We have these on our website. They're washable markers fabric markers, and I'm just gonna draw a line from here and here. I'm gonna put it in the hoop. I'm gonna mark where I want that bottom to go yeah. because you truly, you do wanna make sure that they're all in the right place. Mm -hmm. And then what it's gonna do, it's, it's gonna put a placement stitch down. Then you're gonna peel your fabric, iron it down, and then it's gonna do a placement stitch for the next piece and the next piece and it's gonna build it. Yeah, that's a great question. Um, and again, I think with this project, it'd be fun to do like pillows. You could, you know, just do little wall hangings, whatever you would like to do. Oh, yeah. I think it'd be super cute in my little spare time, which is a little hard these days. But it would be fun to like embroider Oakley's name on it or Aries' name on it and make little wall hangings, you know, for them. That would be so sweet. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm going to add my roof. Where did my roof go? Here is my roof. Okay, here's my roof. I'm gonna take my little paper off. And then I'm gonna add, this is the bottom to my roof. Pam, someone said too in the comments, it would make a great dog house, this little bird house. Look at how fun that oh idea my is. Oh gosh, what an idea. Let me see. see this is this is why quilters are great. I'm looking at the dog dies right now. There you go. The so we have the Scotty and die and we have the little gingham dog. Yeah, those would be gingham great. Those, and those would apply for that 40% off today. Oh yeah, totally, like, totally, oh yeah. totally. Okay, so here we go. All right, here we go. 
All right, so I'm gonna add the roof and the base, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna iron it down. So it's a little process, but it was a fun process to make. They really are. Oh, okay. I've got another chickadees vote, Pam. <laughs> Jackie go. and I are on the same page. Chickadees. Call her Jackie. <laughs> okay, now here is really important information. Mm -hmm. We're gonna put the perch and, oh, here, we'll put our little hole with our bird on it. Oh, cute. Okay. Now, well, I'm gonna not because I'm gonna add a bird to show you how to add the bird. Okay. So here's the little hole to the entrance. Mm -hmm. There has to be enough room. This is my pro tip, okay? Make sure there's enough room between the perch and the hole opening. Because if you get them too close, then the bird is not gonna fit where he's yeah. supposed to fit. Yeah. Okay? All right. So um, I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it here. I think on my other one I measured. Today I'm just gonna eyeball it. Okay, so I'm gonna put my perch down. <laughs> so sticky. <laughs> okay. I love these fabrics together too. Aren't they cute? So much fun. Well, lovely, Erica helped me pick out these fabrics. I was in a kind of a conundrum as to how to make them. Well, it's like okay. a little bit, it's like polished, but still whimsical and fun. Yeah, I do love the bright colors, okay? Agreed. All right, and then now I'm gonna put my bird here to make sure that it's there, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I love, okay. Oh, this is so sweet. So Paula, we're talking, we're talking about birds still. Yes. So Paula says that morning doves were her favorite because I instantly returned to my grandparents' home in Elgin, Nebraska. I remember hearing them oh. cooing in the alley behind their house. We know where Elgin is. Do you? Yeah. Look at this. Okay, so now I'm going to add one of my birds here. And I'm going to add this one down here. Okay. So again, you could have your birds up here. Oh, yeah. There's going to be a circle of birds in the center, but it's your project. You can do whatever you want. There's no dive place. Exactly. Don't forget quilters that all of our videos live on our Facebook and YouTube pages. So you can go back and watch any one that you want. Okay. okay. Emily, you want to talk about our blog? Oh, yes. We have a fabulous blog, which has um, exclusive patterns that our go-getters and some AccuQuilters um, will write for us. Um, it is a just a great place to find, you know, really fun inspiration on a daily basis. So yeah. we have, um, I believe it's three blogs a week. And so there's just so yeah, so many. There's just no end to the inspiration. So it's a really, really great, great place to go. Our go-getters are so creative. Yeah. And I learned just this year <laughs> that there are patterns on the blog that aren't on our website yeah. anywhere. Yeah. yeah, it's just really great. Okay. All right. And then I've ironed down my little birds. So he's on his little perch. He so looks sweet. cute. Just beautiful. All right. And then now make sure you find one that sits underneath. Mm -hmm. Again, this is a great project because you could totally make, you could put two or three different birds here on this one. You could use one of our bigger birds on one of our other birdhouses. Oh, yeah. Right? Absolutely. I mean, just such a fun, whimsical project. The possibilities are endless. Okay. All right. Do we love this? I'm taking all the pieces home. <laughs> I'm going to take all the pieces home and, you know what? I'm going to let Oakley um, finish this out. <gasps> And I'll bring it back um, in a couple of weeks and show you what Oakley did. That would be so much fun. It will fun. be really fun. Yes, okay. please. All right, hold on here. I gotta get all my pieces before I move on to the next piece. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, I'm gonna move this this way. And again, a great beginner sewist because most of the quilt, all you're doing is doing applique on there, right? Mm-hmm. Pam, do you have any bird houses or bird feeders? Uh, we have at your a bird house? feeder in the, our backyard. Yeah. And yesterday, um, it's been so nice yeah. that I've had the um, back door open and the screen door um, shut. Yeah. And it's just been so great. Rafe filled it on, I guess, Monday. 
and we just have dozens and dozens of birds all the time oh. that come in and come to our little bird feeder. It's really oh, cute. Fun. And I was writing some scripts yesterday, sitting back there going, oh, this is nice to sit in the kitchen and watch that. It really is. All right, the last thing you need to do is cut and sew the rectangles. Oh, where's our project here? I'll show you. Because you're like, what? Where are the rectangles? There are <laughs> rectangles right here. Now, Emily, what if they didn't want to do rectangles? Could they just use strips? Absolutely. You could, and are those strips part of that My 40? They sure are. Is that what it is? What is it, save 40? Uh, the My 40 off. My 40 off, I knew. So you could totally use um, solid strips if you wanted to. Um, but we're gonna show you how to use the rectangles. My goal, quilters, for those of you just joining us, um, my goal in 2022 was to bind every project and quilt I made with a striped binding. So. That way you'll know this came in 2022, okay? <laughs> For our project, you're gonna need six rectangles for the sides and seven rectangles for the top and the bottom. And yesterday on our, AQ, or on our live event, we showed you how to cut rectangles using strip dies. But I'm gonna show you how to cut the rectangles according to the pattern using um, one of our dies. In fact, shape eight from the mix and match six inch cube. Okay, so what you're gonna need are um, rectangles that are one and a half by three inches, yep. okay? So this is what it's gonna finish to. Remember all the shapes in the cube are the same, they're just different sizes. There are actually two on this die board, so keep that in mind when you're um, cutting fabric, okay? So again, I'm just gonna lay down my um, little scraps here, and since, since I am using scraps, I'm just gonna use the bottom one but I'm gonna cut, okay, here's what I'm gonna do, because that one's just barely <laughs> big enough. I'm gonna make sure they fit. All right, Emily, while I lay down my fabric. Yes, we have some more comments on birds. We okay. have um, Anne's favorite bird is the woodpecker. I have a woodpecker come to my bird feeder daily, and he's the cutest little Oh my thing. gosh, that's fun. They're so fun, and I love the way they can tilt their heads all over the place. They always look like they're asking you a question. Yes. <laughs> yes, we are. We have an owl that um, lives in our neighborhood, and I often hear the owl. Well, and I okay. used to have a bird feeder on my, uh, the one that suction cups to like the balcony door, and um, I had to take it down because the cat kept launching himself into the glass, which was not safe for him. So. Trying to get them. <laughs> this is why we can't have nice things. This is exactly why we can't have nice things. Okay, you can always cut six layers of good cotton with our dies. So I have laid um, six pieces of cotton scraps. I'm gonna put a mat on top. I'm not worried about this little tail. Uh, there are no blades in the cutter. They're all in the die. I'm gonna turn off my iron so I don't burn myself. All right, I'm gonna turn it this way. And I love that this, Pam, so I'm finding out new and fun trivia about birds. Okay. So Valerie's favorite is barn swallows because they eat mosquitoes. Oh, so we used to live in Southern California where the swallows came to Capistrano, <gasps> which is a phenomenon. If you live in the Southern California area, you should go watch the swallows come to Capistrano. And it was just beautiful. I bet. It's beautiful. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna take my shoes off. <laughs> I'm gonna show you how to sew rectangles together because this is just great chain piecing for days. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna make two piles. I'm gonna sew them together super fast while Emily tells us more birds. More birds. Um, ooh, Julie says egrets. Oh, yes. Those are so pretty. No one has said flamingo yet. I know, we haven't heard flamingo. We've heard, we have, oh, noisy wrens and bluebirds, says Wrens Phyllis. and bluebirds are noisy. They talk a lot. They really, really do. Um, I'm surprised they haven't heard of, heard orioles either. Those are such oh, there you go. birds. Um, so we're just taking our, oh, we're not doing that. We're taking our pieces together and sewing them together, <laughs> the short ends together. Okay. That's right, to make those nice little strippies. There we go. Um, oh, Mary loves, um, is from Washington and yes. loves red wing blackbirds. Yes. Ooh. Yes, growing up in Seattle, you can see red wing blackbirds. It's quite a phenomenon. And Barbara says she loves, oh, cardinals because 
That means when you see one, it means someone from heaven is, heaven is watching you. Yeah. I didn't know that. Isn't that sweet? That's so sweet. That's so fun. Oh. Okay, so now I'm just taking my rectangles and I'm sewing them together. I'm just gonna make one side for us. Excellent. Okay, here we go. <gasps> okay, this one's fun. Pelican. Pelicans. I was in um, Texas at an event in Corpus Christi, and um, there was this big, huge pelican just sitting on a dock. I took a great picture of it. Oh, how cool. Yeah, it didn't care that I was there. Yeah, it's like, it's so fun to watch them just dive mm -hmm. and fish, and so, so, so cool. Okay. Love that. I know that's the least sewing I've ever done on a show. <laughs> All right, so here's one of our um, sides. It has six of our rectangles. Mm -hmm. So I would have cut them all together and sewn them all together and then just added it to the edge of our project. Here, I can show you. Well, here it is right here. I was thinking I put it away, but we haven't yet. There go all of my pieces, but this is where it's gonna fit. Look at that, perfectly. Okay, beautiful. Love it. All right, this table topper would be a perfect gift for Mother's Day or a spring themed party. Think outside the box and use shapes from, for a nature themed apron, tea towels, book bags, the possibilities are endless. Be sure and finish, share your finished projects with us on our social media platforms, I'd love to see them. Don't forget to join me and Erica on Tuesday, April 12th at 12 noon central time. We are going to relaunch a dye that was so popular it sold out on the day of its release, but now it's part of our permanent collection. Quilters, be sure to register for all of our upcoming events for your chance to win $100 in AccuQuilt reward points and a grand prize of $500 in AccuQuilt reward points, which will be drawn during our live show on Tuesday, April 26th. Don't forget about our great bundles. The Bird and Birdhouse launch bundles are available again on our website. Don't forget that my 40 off will take 40% off go dyes, cubes and bundles, plus spend $100 or more get free shipping. So Emily, let's talk about that. There were some matte bundles there the surely site. are. Yes. So Can we, we talked about that. Yes. We have three new mat bundles. Okay. So we have the go 10 by 24 cutting mat bulk pack. So if you have strip dies and you're thinking, oh, what size mat? That's the size mat you want. Yes. And that is like a buy three, get one free value right Perfect. there. So it's a really, Perfect. really great one. We also have the large cutting mat starter pack for 9096, which includes a two pack of six by 24s, a 10 by 10 and a 20, 10 by 24 as well. So a, a lot of the larger, you know, the strip right. dies. And a lot of our Bob dies, they're either six by 24 or 10, or, um, 10, 10 by 10. 24. Oh yeah. So a great time if you own a lot of Bob dies, a great time to get those mats. Yes. And then finally we have the small cutting mats starter pack, um, which it has a five by 10, okay. um, a two pack of six by sixes, and then a six by 12 as well. Perfect. And those are great, obviously for applique shapes. If you're just cutting one shape off of die. Yeah. It's just perfect for it. So those three mat bundles would be great. Get the bird and birdhouse and then a mat bundle, it'll ship to you free. It sure will. All right. All right, Emily, let's announce our AccuQuilt Live winner today. All right, drum roll please. Our winner is Wendy D from Four Four Oaks, North Carolina. Congratulations, Wendy. Congratulations. You're gonna love this guy. Woohoo! All right, quilters, be sure to join us for next week's AccuQuilt Live. We're gonna make a really fun project N using that die. We're gonna relaunch on Tuesday. On behalf of our entire AccuQuilt team, so offsite we have Morgan. Safe travels, Morgan. She is moving from one part of the country to another part of the country. Safe travels in your move. We also have Lauren helping us out today. In the Dream Studio, we have Brock and Justin and Joe and my good friend Emily. I'm Pam Heller reminding you at AccuQuote, we help you cut time so you can quote more. We'll see you next week.